for this week's video, I am going to do a weekly meal plan. I've never planned for the week for food before and I thought it would be a fun video to watch and make if you are interested in also doing weekly meal plans. Um, so today is Monday and David and I are going out for dinner um, and I'm only doing dinner for the meal plan. So today, anyway, today's Monday and we're going out for dinner which I will show you but um, otherwise I'm going to plan out the meal and then do a big grocery shop I think tomorrow and then um, yeah, go from there. So basically I'm planning for Tuesday through Thursday because Friday we have a dinner but I thought this is the most realistic version of a meal plan because uh, that's just how the weeks go. You know, some things come up, you go out to dinner sometimes. Anyway, so I'm gonna list out things that I'm going to make and then what to buy at the grocery store and then do a big grocery shop on Tuesday and I'm gonna take you along with me. Since it's been so hot in Phoenix, like literally 120 degree temperatures, I thought for this week's meals, I wanted to be light and also potentially one cold meal. Um, so yeah, those those are the kind of things I'm going for. Um, in terms of like nightly activities this week, we don't have a lot going on during the night, so I will have time to cook. So um, I'm looking for, yeah, just basically meals that are uh, either room temperature or cold, and then, um, also healthy because we have been up at my friend's cabin and uh, this past weekend and when we go up to Whitney's cabin it always means that we've had a lot of chips and snacks and a lot of unhealthy things <laughs> so um, it's kind of a little bit of a detox this week so anyway, I'm looking at my Pinterest just to get some inspiration and I also want something that's like not too heavy so I think no for like pasta and that kind of thing. We got bruschetta and we got salmon pesto, broad and bacon, white bean and tomato, and prosciutto, fig, prosciutto, fig and mascarpone. And then we got a summer <clears throat> salad, summer salad with corn and mixed grains. It was delicious. And a pitcher of beer and we got what beer to get? Cosmic. Cosmic IPA and it was de delicious. Today is Tuesday, June 21st, and today for breakfast I am making egg and toast. And this is a deviation from my original planning list, so deviation number one. Um, and it's only because I didn't wasn't able to go to the grocery store yesterday to pick up yogurt for to make overnight oats. Otherwise, it would have been fine. So, update for today. My new technique with um, making eggs, though, is clutch. I, I want to do a video on it, but I think it's just as easy, easy to show you this way. So, see how on the top of the egg it's, like, not cooked? That white part is not cooked. So, all you do is you take some water and then put it around the egg. And then you take your lid and put it over the top of the pan like so and then it will steam the egg and then make the white part the uncooked white part on top cooked also David and I have been really into eating rye bread so I am running up to Sprouts to grab the groceries and I feel like going to Sprouts because I like their produce and it tends to be like a little bit less expensive for produce and a lot of my grocery list is produce. So anyway, that is the update, another update for today. 
Plus, I like going to Sprouts because they have my favorite carts of all time, the little, the little guys. All right, grocery store haul coming at you. So, first of all, um, from Sprouts, these are on sale. Organic black beans and organic pinto beans, which I'm going to use in my burrito bowl that I think I'm going to have for dinner. I got these Inca, Inca corn, puffed corn things, and they were, I think they were like five bucks a pound. I def not, definitely did not get a pound. Also, excuse the appearance, I was just outside planting and it's hot. So this is what these guys look like. They're just, looks like corn, they're just corn nuts. Good for snacking. Two ears of corn that were on sale at Sprouts celery for the tuna that I didn't make today and also forgot to buy at the store. <laughs> Two heads of romaine. Bulk walnuts and these were also on sale and I always buy walnuts when they're on sale at Sprouts because we go through them and put them in like salads and baked goods and stuff and they're originally like ten dollars for a pound and I think these were six. So walnuts. Spaghetti squash for Thursday dinner, I think. Then I wanted to try this melon. It's a golden honeydew. And it looked delicious. And all their melons were on sale. So I got, um, it's like a dollar, uh, maybe 50 cents a pound or a dollar a pound or something like that. I think this is like only a pound. So yeah, this delicious golden honeydew. Plain yogurt. Sharp cheddar cheese. Two things of uh, chicken breasts. This one's for the chicken Caesar salad that we're gonna have tomorrow. And then this one I'm gonna make, oh, I'm gonna do, I'm thinking I wanna do spaghetti squash with pesto and chicken and tomatoes. And yeah, so if I can find the receipt, I think it was only, so it was only, let's see, it was $27.47. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's my usual grocery store bill when I go. So if this, my goal is to not go to the grocery store for the rest of the week. So it's Tuesday. Oh, gosh. So it's Tuesday, and I shouldn't have to go because I have dinners and lunches-ish for today through Friday. I might even be able to stretch it through the weekend because David's out of commission for the most part for the weekend in terms of, like, I'm only cooking for myself. So yeah, I think I can do it. So today I spent $27 at the grocery store. And then yesterday we spent like $30 for dinner. And then what do we do for lunch? Oh, we just had leftovers for lunch. So 60 bucks for the week. If this works, I'm down with it. And it doesn't take that much planning and it's nice because like I know we have, I have to use up the basil in the refrigerator and so that's why I decided to do like a basil pesto for the spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna try to make that, just prep it right now before the basil totally goes off. Just a few leaves are brown so it's not like moldy or anything. Um, but I'm just gonna prep that. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow, I don't know, I can't decide. But yeah, I'm, I'm into this whole thing so I guess we'll see how it goes, I will report back. This is what that melon looks like. It's pale green, like regular honeydew. And um, yeah, it tastes very sweet. It tastes pretty sweet, mild, and it's not as mushy as like a regular cantaloupe, but it still tastes ripe. So it's not like hard like an apple, but it still has a little bit of crunch to it, which I do like. So yeah, I like it. Good for a melon. Okay, so here is dinner for tonight. Uh, all the goodies are kind of hidden underneath the salad, but there's corn, black beans, sour cream, rice, and some avocado, and then salsa. And then I made two other little ones without the stuff that's going to wilt uh, for lunch for David and I. So I'm on the go this morning. It is Wednesday morning and it's around 10, 17. And um, I didn't get a chance to eat breakfast, so I'm eating, woo! 
meeting this apple for breakfast just like I had planned. All right, so this is my lunch, leftover burrito bowl and then a bunch of lettuce. So it's like a burrito bowl salad. <laughs> So latest update, we had my parents over and my brother over for dinner last minute. So we did have to run to the grocery store to grab a couple extra chicken breasts and bread. But other than that, we are still on track with our meal plan. So very cool. Tonight we had Caesar salad, cheese board, chicken, bread. What else do we have? melon some of that melon that i bought at the beginning of the week and yeah it turned out really well it was just the last minute they came over and i had bought the two heads of romaine so we just used those and then now we have a lot of leftover chicken so i'll use that tomorrow and for lunches i think we only spent like an extra ten dollars or so or maybe even less at the grocery store david had to run to the grocery store so um yeah, so though so far on track and I think things like that happen, so I'm not upset about it. <laughs> Yum. Eggs and toast. Having some popcorn for lunch today because I feel like popcorn is one of the snacks that when you see somebody eating it, you like can't resist it. Or I always want popcorn when I see someone else eating popcorn. So I'm not super hungry, but popcorn just sounded delicious so mm, that's my lunch today Ooh. all right so I'm home alone tonight and I'm having spaghetti squash with basil pesto and I poured some balsamic on it leftover chicken parmesan on top and then red pepper flakes and then this could be leftover for tomorrow I'm rocking the middle part <laughs> um, so everything is going really well to plan I think um, the basil that I was going to use was ended up being moldy so I actually went over to a friend's house who had like a huge basil basil plant that she said I could take some clippings from so I just used her basil so that ended up working out really well <laughs> I thought I'd come in front of the camera and talk about all the things that I've learned from meal planning um, as a wrap up for this video. And things I've learned is that you have to keep it flexible. So like when we had my parents over for dinner, that was unexpected, but uh, luckily we just ran to the grocery store, grabbed something else that wasn't like there was nothing. It's not a big to do, it just happened. But we still ended up having the same thing. So that worked out great. Um, and then we actually ended up going over to my parents' house for one night, which I guess in retrospect, like kind of counters out them coming over here. So we ended up pushing one meal over. Um, so in terms of flexibility, like it's just important to keep, like keep an open mind for things that are gonna happen. I think that makes it like the easiest. Uh, the other thing that I found to be I don't know, helpful, but I, um, during the week, there were times where I was like, oh, I don't know if I necessarily feel like Caesar salad or something, but I thought, well, what do I feel like? And if it was something that I could put my finger on, um, I write it down and then think about what I'm going to do for the next week. So for example, uh, for whatever reason, I've been wanting sloppy joes, which is so weird because I'm not really like a sloppy joe type of person. But um, I thought, well, it'd be great if we could just have it the next week. So that kind of, um, I don't know if that like satisfied the hunger for it, but it ended up being fine. So um, yeah, I think it went really well. We ended up spending, I think last week on meals, $60. Plus we, David went to the grocery store and probably spent like another 10 15 so we'll just say we spent um 75 dollars at the grocery store uh for one week which is really good because usually i rack up like a 30 dollar tab almost every single time i go to the grocery store which is every day who knows how i do that <laughs> um oh i know another tip that i have is uh, at least for me uh because i'm maybe it's because i'm so I don't know, not focused, but um, when you're at the grocery store, sometimes it's good to be like, oh, 
just put like a fruit on the list and then buy whatever's on sale or if you want like a vegetable with your meal I wanted like asparagus with one of the meals but it wasn't on sale and they didn't have like any very good looking asparagus so I ended up getting uh I ended up doing whatever was on sale instead so I think that is um a good like alternative to just sticking straight to the plan um, at least for me, for somebody who's like not really good at sticking to the plan. Um, other uh, things were, um, like I said, when you're going to the grocery store, like I like to snack. I'm a snacker. Um, and if you're only going to the grocery store once, like you're not necessarily picking up the snacks. So um, I ended up buying just like a ton of fruit that wasn't on my list, but. Um, I think that was helpful because I just snacked on like that honeydew throughout the week and that was, um, that kept, kept me entertained. <laughs> uh, I don't know if entertained is the right word, but yeah, I mean, you get the gist. It was, um, it was easier to do because I had a variety of food. Uh, so I did breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, I didn't stick to like at all, um, but that's my mojo. I suck at like sticking to a plan for breakfast. I kind of just... When I wake up in the morning, I don't know, I just go with the flow. So for me, um, planning out breakfast is not as important, but also breakfast is like pretty easy. You grab a carton of eggs and toast and you're good. Or um, overnight oats or whatever it is that you really like in the morning, like oatmeal or whatever. Um, that's an easy, breakfast is an easy thing to plan. Lunch, I'm also kind of the same, like a pretty, I like to be flexible for lunch, but I ended up sticking with like, leftovers or things that we already had so it'll be interesting I think um, I'm gonna do video next week or yeah next week um, and I'm gonna see how that goes because I think this past week we did have a lot of leftovers so that was helpful but um, so I just I think I'm just gonna do like a continuous diary of how like meal planning is going and where we're going with it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching and if you have any like meal suggestions for the week I would love to know so write them in the comments down below thank you for watching